Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Scorpios. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at the harsh truth that you need to hear now. So we're going to get straight into it. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you'd like to see more of my videos, that's going to be the way you can um, stay updated. As well as if you would like to get a personal session with me, my information will be listed below. We also have some crystals that are up on the site or will be, not yet. We have some citrine clusters. We have amethyst. We have some rose quartz pyramids. And these are very high quality crystals. Um, and yeah. So let's go ahead and get into it. Scorpios, the harsh truth they need to hear. And we're going to go by each card and see what their individual message is. Okay. All right. So starting off, we do have the will of fortune. So <clears throat> will of fortune. The first thing, the first harsh truth that you need to hear you guys are stepping into a period of good luck and good fortune, which is the good part. You guys are stepping into a time period where you guys are able to prosper finally. You're able to do the things that you had in mind prior to probably 2021. And this is you now having the opportunity to do it in the now. But with you having this opportunity you guys stepping into this new cycle of energy, you guys can't be doing old things. And when I say this, this can be entertaining certain habits that have been keeping you from being successful previously in the past or um, allowing yourself to be caught up in other people's drama or issues where you're not focusing on your own stuff and handling your business. Some of you, like your personal energy needs to be protected for the sake of you being able to, you know, handle your business. And if you have people around you who are, you know, negative, draining, it could be hard for you to do what you need to do. Okay. Another thing, we do have the four of cups here. So this is addressing what you're not happy with. Some of you have been sitting in this energy of discontentment with certain um, things in your life. This could be, you know, you not liking somebody at your job and, you know, you just kind of sitting on that or not liking certain things that your partner does. But instead of like addressing it, you may keep it to yourself because you want to save the sake of you guys getting into an argument that may be you know, drawn out and all extra and stuff. Um, some of you are just tired of your living situation and you may be feeling like you want more. And for a lot of you, like with this discontentment, it's you having the ability to change that, but it may be you having to, you know, completely distance yourself from that situation or that person for you to be able to even do so. Um, but looking further into this, we do have the devil. So this is the energy of you guys also addressing any sort of addictions you have, whether this is you being addicted to, you know, eating like this lady has in her hand, cheesecake at 4 a.m. or, um, you know, substance abuse or to a certain person. This is also addressing like how your mind may believe a lot of negative things and then create toxic situations in your real life by thinking those negative things for no reason. So Harsh truth is, this is limiting you. Some of you also in attachment. 
that you have to a person, situation, substance, whatever it may be, also may be hurting you and hindering you. Also with the chariot, you guys are moving to a place of success. Like I said, this reading is actually more positive than anything like, oh my God, you guys need to get your act together. Um, of course, there's adjustments that could be made, but that's as always, right? Um, but the chariot, this is you guys moving to a new chapter. This is like you moving forward, things progressing for you. But with this progression, you're going to have to leave certain things behind you. Um, this could be like you finally moving out of your parents' home if you're like a younger adult. Uh, this may be you being able to step up your financial situation and then your person, um, for some reason may not be able to keep up or they're not trying to like, you could have your eyes set out on like being successful overall. And you could be feeling like your person and you may be on two different pages. So, Hmm. That leaves you guys with an interesting choice that you guys are going to have to make. And it's going to be based off of what makes the most sense. Okay. Now we have the emperor. Sorry guys for knocking you over a little. Um, with the emperor. Some of you are dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. You guys need to deal with this power struggle. That you guys are going through. This is you needing to make sure that you guys are not going head to head and like competing on who has control or power in the relationship, but more so you guys looking at how you guys can work better together. And some of you also your relationship with your father um, or the father of your child. Um, and some of you, the mother of your child. But there's a need for you to make sure you guys are working on those relationships close to you. And also to have control over your situations, it's better to or yeah, to have control over your situation. It's better to sometimes sit back instead of feeling like you always need to kind of interject and things of that nature when it comes to other people. And how they feel. <clears throat> we also have the Eight of Wands. Um, so some of you need. Some of you guys need to make sure that you're. Not harboring onto old things. Um, also with the Eight of Wands. This is like. Stop entertaining communication from somebody who you know hasn't changed. Like some of you, whenever somebody reaches out to you, even though you know that they haven't changed as a person, you're tired of them or whatever it may be, you may con constantly give them the energy that they want. And with the Nine of Pentacles, some of you, unfortunately, you just work better single um, for right now. Like you being single right now gives you the opportunity to really focus on getting your financial situation together, especially if you are in a really bad financial situation where you need to move or you need to handle certain things. Some of you may be needing to focus on your finances instead of so much romance. And for some of you, if you're single right now, the harsh truth is that you're supposed to be single so that you can get your personal endeavors in order here with the king. No, not the king, the queen of pentacles. This is like handling your, your responsibilities financially, health-wise. Physically taking care of yourself. So this is what I see. I hope that you took the message that you needed from this. If you did, thumbs the video up and subscribe. Check out the description. Like I said, if you guys want to purchase any of our beautiful crystals, subscribe to the website so you get notified when they're posted. I'm going to have them up probably within the next couple of days. We're gonna also have some sound bowls on there as well. So check that out and I'll see you in the next one.